Kids, calm <laughs> down. <laughs> Come back. Psychic. <laughs> Kids, how did you get over there? Come sit down. Come on. Come sit down. Come on, kids. This is killing my knees. Grandma, why do you always wear that badge that says FDIC? Well, you see, kids, Grandma was one of the members of the FDIC. Grandma, what's the FDIC? The FDIC is the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. But where did it come from? It was created due to a string of events beginning with the stock market crash of 1929. The stock market crash of 1929 led to a series of bank panics, which turned into what was thought an economic decline into the Great Depression. Customers began to withdraw their money from the banks in a panic, which led to many banks facing sudden bankruptcy. Then, in 1931, Great Britain left the gold standard, which caused many U.S. customers to panic even more, and they began to trade in their own money for gold, depleting the U.S. gold reserves. Due to sudden economic decline, our president, the 32nd, Mr. Theodore Roosevelt, implemented the New Deal Plan. The New Deal Plan included the Bank Act of 1933, which established the FDIC. At the time, the FDIC would ensure in commercial banks to deposit 2,500 with a pool of money collected from the banks. What's its purpose? The FDIC is an independent federal agency de ensuring deposits in the United States banks and thrifts in event of bank failures, and the FDIC insurance allows you to get your money after a bank failure. During the period of time when the Great Depression was going on, we maintained public confidence and encouraged stability in the financial systems throughout the promotion of sounding bank practices. As of 2018, the FDIC insures up to 250,000 per depositor as long as the institution is a member of the firm. Practically all banks and thrifts are offered FDIC coverage, but the FDIC does not cover products such as mutual funds, immunities, life insurance policies, stocks, or bonds. Our primary purpose is to prevent run-on bank scenarios and to avoid any financial crises like we faced in the 1930s. Our mission was to help America recover from the economic downfall. The FDIC intended on protecting the banks and ensuring potential deposits and crashes. Did people like it? <laughs> During the 1930s, we had a large group of supporters who not only had hopes for us to help turn the banks around, but were also hoping it would recover some of their financial losses that they faced during the bank closures and failures. That's so cool. Maybe one day we'll be in the FDIC. <laughs>